Much vultures by the dozens. They're taking over parts of the Midlands, including forest acres and the city of Casey. News 19's Tai Wong on your side now talking with a woman who says she started seeing them in her yard a few weeks ago. This year, it's been a whole bunch of them. They've been everywhere. Amanda Bracey lives in Casey. She says every morning, dozens of black vultures invade her property. One time I came out, they were underneath the carport on the roof outside in the yard and on the roof of the house next door. Bracey recalls only seeing a few typically during winter, but this year the numbers are multiplying. I'm almost positive they've been destroying the roof on this house and they've also chewed the rubber off of my daughter's scooter that's usually outside and some rubber off of the top of my truck. She's walked around her home looking for reasons why there are so many buzzards like dead animals, but she hasn't found anything. I've had residents call. They've had anywhere from 10 to 50. These winged invaders are also showing up in the northern part of Columbia in the Forest Acres community. Police Chief Gene Seeley says they have a solution. Bird bangers, so to speak. It's like a blank or a firecracker. And you can shoot them around the roost area in the evening or morning. It'll scare the buzzards away. He explains people are not allowed to kill them because they are federally protected. I just want them to go away. It's, they're bothering me. If vultures start to appear in your yard, you are encouraged to reach out to your local natural wildlife center. Reporting in Casey, Tai Wong, News 19 WLTX. And as you just heard the chief say, there are some ways to scare those vultures away, like using those pyrotechnics. Uh, it is a common practice. These are similar to fireworks designed especially to scare away birds. Experts say to shoot them at dusk near a roost for up to four days until the vultures don't come back. Pointing red lasers into a roost can also be used to scare off vultures. And this is an extreme one. Hanging a dead vulture near a roost can also do the trick, but it may require a special permit.